Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I'm going to do my hair and my makeup. So if you want to see how I got this gorgeous look, keep watching. I'm just kidding, you probably don't think it's gorgeous, but <laughs> whatever. It's my look of the day, all right? But before we get to that portion of the video, I wanted to show you guys my new dossier perfumes, which is totally part of my whole get ready with me. Smell goods are everything. So I just got these in yesterday. I've told y'all about Dossier before. This company is absolutely, hands down, awesome. If you've never heard about Dossier, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them and then I'm gonna show you what I got. Dossier makes alternatives to luxury perfumes. They reproduce classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price. They are vegan and cruelty-free. They are also free of parabens, phthalates, and colorants. They have tons of scents to choose from. They have men's cologne and women's perfume, and they even have a little quiz that you can take which will help you find your perfect scent. Okay, so in the past, I had gotten maybe three different perfumes of theirs, impressed with every one of them, but this time I got two different scents. And these are actually two scents that I've smelled before, I've tried before, but I never owned before. So the one I'm using today is the Woody Hyacinth, and you can see here on the label, it has the brand name, the name of the perfume, and then it also has the notes, the top, middle, and base notes on the bottle. And then inside the packaging also comes this little card that pretty much says the same thing. So. The notes for this one is hyacinth, lemon, pineapple, middle notes is jasmine, pink pepper, patchouli, base notes is vanilla, vetiver, and orris, and it's inspired by Chanel Chance. The other one I chose is called Oriental Brown Sugar. The top notes is bergamot, raspberry, and pear. The middle notes is jasmine, orange blossom, brown sugar. And the base notes is patchouli, amber, and vanilla. This one is inspired by YSL's Mon Perry or Mon Paris, whatever. I'm not that fancy. But um, yeah, so I love both of these perfumes. And these, hands down, like, impressed. Like, these smells, I actually reached out to the company yesterday when I got my package and I said, I just wanted to let y'all know that the two scents I received are outstanding. Like, they are outstanding. So another cool thing about Dossier is you can pick out a scent. Oh my gosh, they just have so many to choose from. So many, I would like to buy every one of them. But you can pick out a scent and in this box that you receive, there's a sample bottle, which is actually a really good size sample bottle. And what you do is you try this for 30 days. If you don't like it, you can return it. But I guarantee you're going to like it. But yeah, so all of, all of your orders comes with a sample that you can test before opening the full bottle. If you don't like the sample, just return the package with the 50 milliliter bottle, which is the bigger bottle, and you'll get a full refund, returns are free, no questions asked. So, if you've never tried a dossier, or maybe you have tried it before, or maybe you just wanna try a new perfume, but you don't know if you're gonna like it or not, you don't know how it's gonna work out, order the perfume in the box, you will get the sample. So you'll get this bottle, and then you get the sample, you can open it, smell it, put it all over you, test this out, and if you don't like it, you can return it. You're probably not gonna return it though. That's just, you're probably not because these perfumes are, like I said, outstanding. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's super simple. I love the magnetic cap. Ah, it's kind of addictive. But these perfumes smell so good. Honestly, if I was blindfolded and didn't know any better, I would think it was the actual perfumes. They are just, absolutely beautiful. They have good strength to them and they have good lasting power as well. So yeah, try out Dossier if you have never tried it before. I will have a link down below for you to check them out. Like I said, I got the Woody Hyacinth. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But this one is the Chanel Chance inspired and then the other one I got is the YSL inspired. But yeah, check out Dossier. I think you're absolutely going to love them. I don't know anyone who wouldn't. 
Anyways, okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I got this look. The first thing I'm gonna do is apply some lotion. This is the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. I got this in a BoxyCharm box. I think it was the March BoxyCharm box. This stuff is so good. It's super moisturizing, smells good, feels good, and my skin literally just drinks it up like it's a dehydrated person dying for a glass of water. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of skin oil. This is the Luxurious Skin Toning Oil from Cashmere. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Now I'm gonna give that a few minutes to just soak in and do its thing. So the look I'm gonna be doing today is gonna be like all purple. And that might not be your thing, but you could always do this look with other colors. So if you wanna use browns, greens, blues, pinks, whatever. Do your thing. I'm gonna be using the Lime Crime Venus palette. I also got this in the same boxy charm. I am going to be using just a few of them, which is gonna be the Dreamy, Bliss, Beam, and Paradise. Maybe a little bit of Rapture. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna use a few of them, mix it all together, and make some magic happen on this face. So I'm not gonna be putting any foundation on yet, just in case there's any fallout. I ain't in the mood to be smearing uh, purple eyeshadow across my face after I've put foundation or anything on. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this e.l.f. hydrating concealer on my eyelids, just as a base. Um, I have pretty veiny eyelids, so uh, I need to cover them up a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a fluffy blending brush and I am going to pick up some of this, we're gonna pick up some of this dreamy shade here. I'm just gonna pat this fluffy brush and that eyeshadow, hit it on the back of my palette because I ain't trying to flop it all over my face. And I'm just gonna start applying it to my outer corner here like the outer v whatever so i'm just gonna like pat it just to apply the color and then i'm gonna start blending Okay, so I also took a little bit of this shade here called Bliss and I just kind of tapped it over here to blend in with that color. And I know it looks messy, but it's gonna get better, okay? This is a work in progress. Don't ever flop your makeup on your face and then look in the mirror and say, girl, no. Sometimes you gotta work on it. You gotta work with it, you gotta work on it. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take this Paradise shade, which is pretty deep purple. What are these cats getting into? They be driving me crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending that into that same color that we just applied, because that was my starter shade. All right, this is my second shade. We're gonna add that right on top of it and work all in that outer area again. Also bringing it up into the crease and bringing it just a little bit over on the eyelid. All right, now I'm just gonna start blending and blending and blending. I'm gonna go in with this flatter brush and pick up some of that dreamy shade and I'm going to swipe that across my bottom lash line.
this is what I'm looking like as of right now. And I feel like I'm gonna do a little bit more blending before I move forward. Just letting you know. All right, I'm gonna pick up some of this shade called Rapture, which is just this light kind of color. And I'm gonna start patting that on the bottom part of my eyelid. I'm just trying to kind of blend and get everything working together here. So now I'm going to put on some eyeliner. I'm not finished with this look yet. We're just getting started, okay? But anyways, this is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner Felt Tip there. And I'm gonna do this off camera. Y'all's gonna hate me. I just hate doing it on camera. It's hard. Like I'm having to like pull my face and do this and that and then I'm like sticking a Q-tip in my mouth and fixing it and I don't know if that grosses y'all out. I don't know if you want to see that. Do you want to see that? <laughs> okay, so I just finished with my eyeliner. I know it's not perfect, but you know what? I am doing this for myself and for my husband. I am not auditioning for America's Next Top Model. I am not going down a runway and I'm also not being photographed, okay? So leave me alone. This is as good as it's gonna get for now. So I'm gonna go in with that Paradise, which was that darker, bright purple. And I'm just gonna connect this bottom here with that wing. My wings look ratchet, girl. <laughs> anyway, I'm also gonna add just a little bit more up here. And then my next step is to go in with this shade here, which is so pretty. It's called Beam. I'm actually just gonna use my finger for this. And I'm gonna apply it right there above the liner on the bottom part of the lid. It's shimmery, it's glistening. It's shining, shimmering, splendid. Yeah, so anyway, I'm just gonna dab that all over. Might have to go back over my eyeliner because I just accidentally plopped some of that shimmery shade on top of my eyeliner and kind of messed it up, but it's okay, it's all good, honey. It's gonna be okay, I ain't worried about it because I can just swipe right over real quick. Okay, so that's what this is looking like. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. I'm gonna pop in some of that lighter color Rapture again over there in that inner corner. So now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes using my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. Then I'm gonna prime my lashes with my L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. And then for mascara, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Falsies, which is my most recent favorites. So good, so good. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this primer. I'm gonna apply it to the top and bottom lashes. I'm gonna put a couple layers on. I like my lashes thick and long, so couple layers of this helps get the job done. Okay, primed and ready, mom spaghetti. We're gonna go in with some mascara now. And I am going to put lots of this mascara on. Gonna put quite a few layers. Just starting at that, that lash line and pulling up, doing a little twisty twist. Going from root to tip. I'm gonna do this several times. Probably gonna take me a good 10 minutes. That one seems to be drying out, so I'm gonna swap over to this other one that hopefully has more stuff in it. I really need to repurchase that like ASAP. I was going to like sometime last week, and then by the time I left the Walmart, I forgot. And then honestly, it never even crossed my mind again. So. I need to go to the store soon and get me some more mascara because your girl can't go without mascara. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and add some color 
to my face. I am using my Pro Conceal LA Girl in Bronze Goddess. I'm gonna put this in all the contour areas. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with a touch of this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Sand, and it's 1W2 Sand. I'm not gonna put a lot on, I'm just gonna put a little bit. I haven't wore foundation in so long, it just feels like one of those days where I feel like doing something that I normally don't do just to do it. I mean, there's really no reason for it, I'm just doing it. You know what I'm saying? You ever do that? Oh, you don't? Just me? Okay, no problem. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with some Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 20B Light. Put it under my eyes and here and here and here and here and here. <laughs> I'm just gonna dab all that out with my booty blender. I'm gonna go in with some of this number seven bronzer in the shade Maple, and I'm just gonna put this all over. I forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes. <laughs> well, isn't that something? Okay, time to throw on some blush. I'm gonna use the Ciate London Marbled Light Dusk Blush. Looks like that. Just gonna put it all over these cheeks, y'all. I'm not gonna worry about how much I put on. I'm just gonna keep going with the flow. It's gonna work itself out, trust me. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. As you can tell, this look is looking extra wonky because of my eyebrows. But once I put these eyebrows on, you are gonna see that I am gonna be America's Next Top Model. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. I'm just gonna like trace out the shape. Your girl ain't got no eyebrows. Maybe I should be facing y'all instead of facing away, okay? All right, anyway, I ain't got no eyebrows, so I gotta work with what I have and figure it out. There we go. There we go, girl. See, it's already looking better. You know, I'm just gonna do this eyebrow so y'all can just look at the difference in what an eyebrow makes. And I don't do my eyebrows perfect. I know I don't do them good at all, but like, this is good enough for me. So that's all that really matters. As long as I'm happy, it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks. Yeah, okay, so I'm actually almost done with this one. And look, look at that. Like, girl, no, no, just no. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this other eyebrow quick. Okay, so I am done with the eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with this Teddy Boy palette and pick up some of this light shade here and just put it under my brow there. And just kind of make everything blend and come together a little better rather than not having anything there at all. And it'll kind of smooth out the harsh edges of the eyeshadow shape. Okay. And I need to do my bottom lashes because I totes my goats forgot. Just gonna go ahead and prime them and then go in with that same mascara. Okay, so I'm officially done with this look. I still need to blend my blush a little bit, but it's all good. I also added a little white in my waterline just to make my eyes pop a little bit more. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this 12-in-1 Amazing Leave-In Treatment from the It brand. And this is supposed to repair, protect, and strengthen. And I'm gonna comb my hair out with this brush that needs cleaned out. And this is from Con Air, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. I don't wanna bore y'all to death. So yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna rub this all over, get it all in my hair, brush out my hair, and then I'm gonna let my hair air dry for a little bit, 
and then I'll meet you back here. I have to find something to wear. My closet is literally so messy. It's driving me crazy. I'm not even gonna show y'all what the bottom looks like. I'm not doing it. It's rough, like this looks fine, but down on the floor is terrible. But anyway, so I'm gonna try to find something to wear. My hair is still air drying. Uh, I'm kind of feeling like lazy and chill today, so I don't want to wear any of my nice clothes, but I don't know. We'll see. Plus, I kind of want to go with something that's going to match my eyeshadow a little bit, so that would be black or white, or black and white. Um, mm -mm -mm. This would even look pretty, probably. But this has so much cat hair on it. I love this shirt, but this material is like a cat hair catcher. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. I'm going to find something to wear. Finish doing my hair. Cannot wait to put my perfume on. I'm like so excited about that. I'm like, ah! And yeah. Okay. I'm going to figure something out and then I'll get back to y'all. Hi. So I settled on a plain tank top. Cause that's just what I do every day of life. <laughs> Anyways, so my hair air dried pretty good and then I was like, okay, let me speed up the process for you, honey. So I blow dried it just a little bit. I popped in one of my rollers, which may or may not have been pointless because I might put some butterfly clips in, which I talked to y'all about on my live not too long ago. Um, I don't know if you remember back in the day, but butterfly clips was everything. And they're making a comeback. So I bought 50 pieces. It's a 50 piece bag of multicolor butterflies on Amazon. Man, there's only two yellow. I was thinking about rocking a couple yellow, but okay. Anyway, they're only a couple dollars. It's like a steal. Buy them for yourself, buy them for your kids, or whatever. Only a couple dollars, you can buy them for everybody if you wanted to. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is kind of tease around just the top area. I really don't do anything with my hair anymore because I feel like ever since I dyed it, you know what's so weird? My hair felt better and like was in better shape before I dyed it brown. <laughs> Ever since I dyed it brown, my hair is just like, I don't know, my hair is crazy. So I'm trying to get it back to like a healthier state. And yeah, so I don't really do much with it anymore. I usually just throw it up in a bun and let it go or just air dry it and don't do anything. But depends on what I'm doing. If I'm going somewhere, we're gonna see somebody. But anyway, all right, so I'm just teasing all the top here, getting a little volume going on, so I look like a rock star. There you go. I look like a rock star. I'm going to go ahead and pick out a color. We got pink, blue, purple, orange, red. My eyeshadow is purple, so maybe we'll do purple. Take little sections and just start twisting back like that. Take your butterfly clip and clip it like that. Don't know why, see that's why I should, why did I tease it? I don't know, that was pointless, but okay. Now I'm gonna start on the next row and I'm gonna go in the same direction of the twisting. And butterfly. You're my butterfly, sugar baby. All right, next row. Oops, Let's see? Okay, here we go. Your girl is done with her butterfly hair tune. And you know what? This isn't perfect, but 
it'll do for now. So I'm gonna finish off this face with a lipstick. So I'm gonna apply some of this sweet orange and coconut balm just to soften my lips a little bit. Cause they a little dry right now. I'm gonna go in with this Ace Beauté Be Peachy Lip Liner. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Natural. And voila, I am done. Okay, so last step, I'm going to put on one of my new perfumes from Dossier. I know exactly which one I wanna wear today because I am just feeling it today. I have been craving this smell since I got this in the mail yesterday. Okay, so this is the Woody Hyacinth. Ugh, it's literally the best, literally the best smell ever. Woo! And now all I have to do is sit here and wait for my man to get home. And then I'll have to cook dinner, clean the kitchen, take this face off, get ready for bed, and so on. But, you know, that smell is literally addictive. I just want to sit and sniff myself off. 